Do you think oil, American oil and gas companies have now gotten religion on net zero? Well, are they depends, are now on that road with you? Uh, not all of them, no, regrettably. But let me be fair here. I want to be very fair. ExxonMobil uh, is working with us on a plan they have uh, to do an in-kind effort with on-the-ground training and working with people and being able to be helpful on methane. So they clearly are in a different, you know, they're, they're, they're moving differently than, than uh, Chevron. Um, and uh, we're, we're hoping to close that out in the next hours, if not a couple of days. But, and it work, we'll work with the World Bank and have a manner of uh, being really, hopefully, effective. What more can Chevron do? Beg your pardon? What more can Chevron do? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> well, I, 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 I very respectfully would just say that you can't be outside of this initiative. And, and we have no real evidence that uh, uh, the day and a lot of others are uh, doing what every company needs to do. Scope one, scope two, uh, methane 100% by 2030. This is what companies signed up for, by mm -hmm. the way, in um, the uh, initiative. I'm not sure who it came from, Saudi or somebody, but anyway, it was announced that there is this global decarbonization alliance and these companies have come together. Um, and look, it's not insignificant. You know, a lot of criticism is in level uh, uh, at the UAE, but the fact is that uh, this is the first time ever that those companies have come to the table at a COP. Mm -hmm. And what they've agreed to do is not enough in my judgment, uh, but <laughs> I'd rather have them doing it than not doing it. And that is a pledge to do net zero 2050, a pledge to do uh, scope one and two by 2030, a pledge to do all methane by 2030, which is really important for us, and to raise their capex on renewables, and to, um, uh, a couple of other things, but bottom line is um, we need, well, uh, look, we've gotta be honest here with each other, everybody, and that requires the oil and gas companies to equally be, to be as equally honest with mm -hmm. us. Um, the evidence is overwhelming. There is no doubt about science. And that is why I say it is inexcusable. There's no reason to be permitting unabated efforts at this point. This is an urgency, folks. And so we need, that, we have to get them to stop flaring. We got a whole bunch of flaring down in Texas. Not only is it a stupid thing to do because you're wasting gas that you could be selling, but it's dangerous and damaging to the atmosphere.